All right, welcome again, guys. This is Ivan from BrainyBits.com. Today, uh, we already did a tutorial on these little modules uh, using the uh, Max 7219, and we were animating little uh, alien invaders on them. Uh, today, what we're going to do with them is we're animating little uh, on them. So uh, we're going to build a code to actually uh, let us enter any text we want, and it's going to scroll on these uh, two displays here. Uh, I have two right now, but you could put more just by cascading them together. So uh, the connections are not too hard. I got my voltage and ground going. It's on the back side because I'm using breadboards so they sit uh, nice and snug together. So um, voltage and ground to this uh, one right here. And then I have pin 8, 9, 10, which is connected to DIN, CS, and clock on the back side. And after that, I'm just taking this little jumper cable here and going to the back of this one. So basically, they're linked together like that. Like this is the in, this is the out. So this one goes from the out to the in of this one. So basically, that's all we need to do here. We're going to go look at the code. The code is fairly long, but most of it is uh, defining the characters that are possible to be displayed on the display. So let's go take a look, and we'll be right back and see what happens here. Be right back. Okay, so here we are in the code. This big chunk here is basically drawing every character, uh, lowercase letters, 0 through 9 special characters, uh, to display on the uh, LED module. There's five columns. Each letter will take five columns on the display. So this big part, basically, uh, that's all it does. So the first thing we're going to do at the top, we're going to include the Max Matrix library. You can find a download link on our website or in the YouTube description. Once you have it, just extract it to your Arduino library folder. There it is, Max Matrix, and inside you should find these files. Once you've done that, just restart your IDE software and you're good to go. Uh, this here, basically what it says, it says to put all this big chunk of code inside the flash memory on the Uno. Instead of using the SRAM where the code gets executed, we're putting it in flash because there's more of it. There's 32K of flash compared to 2048 bytes. So that's why we're putting it there. Now, these are, these are the pins our module is connected to. How many modules we have? We have two, but you could change that if you have more. Then we're defining the library right there. And then we have the string, the character string that we're gonna display. It's gonna be brainybits.com, again, Shameful promotion. I'm sorry about that, guys. And uh, okay, so this is our vo our setup. So we initialize the modules. We set the brightness of the LEDs to five, and these this here is our main loop. So what we're doing, we're calling this function called print string with shift register. So we're sending it the string, the scrolling text, which is brainybits.com. And it's going to go that right there. And this, what this does, it extracts the characters from our text. So basically one character at a time. And then it sends that to this uh, function here, which will display it on the module. So it will keep doing that until it reaches, until it's done the whole string. So until it reaches the M. So once it's done, it goes back, it loops back, and it'll display the same string again. So that's it. So we're going to verify our code. We're going to upload to our Uno, and uh, let's go take a look at the results on our breadboard. Okay, so we're back. Uh, we already uploaded the code to our Uno right here, and I'm going to plug it in, and we should see our text uh, that was entered in the code start scrolling on these uh, little Max 7219. So there we go. Let me plug it in. And there we go. I'm going to shut up the light so you can see a little bit better. And there you are. So that's one way. Uh, by using the uh, Max Matrix library, it makes it a lot easier to control uh, the scrolling uh, with just a few lines of code. And now that we have all this, um, all the characters defined in the array, you could use uh, those values to actually build your own code if you want or play around with it. So I hope this helps you. Um, also, you know, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, we put out uh, about two tutorials every week. And also, go to our website at brainybits.com, and you'll find the schematics. 
add the tutorial and the code make your life a little bit easier instead of retyping everything especially with all these uh, zeros and ones to define the characters so once again thanks for watching and i hope to catch you guys later